Twitty. My name's Keith Williams, and uh, I'm here with Fret Moore Guitar Lessons. Appreciate y'all tuning in today, and we're going to do a little fretting on this song today, and uh, learn this one. Uh, Linda on my mind, what an awesome song. Uh, I don't know how far this goes back, but uh, quite a ways. I'm pretty sure 70s. I can't remember now exactly when it came out, but anyway, uh, uh, I remember it uh, way back there. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we're going to play this in, uh, in A, and uh, D in there, okay? And we've got a, uh, an E, a V7, and um, I forgot the A7 there. Um, uh, it's kind of in there a couple times there in the uh, chorus, okay? All right, so let me get come up here, and I'll show you these uh, chords. And I'll show you how to do the A. I do an A with the flat part of my index finger, getting the third and fourth string, and then I grab the uh, second string with my second finger. So I'm kind of borrowing that, those two, okay? Strumming five. Then the A7th, all you gotta do is just raise your finger up and you're getting the uh, fourth and second string. Okay, leaving that uh, leaving that third string open, okay? Now if you can't do that, you can do three fingers and do, for the A anyway, and do uh, fourth, third, and second. And then for A7th, just raise your middle finger. Okay, so you can do it that way. And then uh, D chord. Uh, Third string, second fret, first string, second fret, and second string, third fret. Strumming four. Strumming, come over here to the, uh, uh, still on the third string on the first fret. This is our E, E chord. And then fifth string and fourth string on the second fret. Strumming, strumming six. Okay. Then we've got a B seventh. We come up here on the fourth string, first fret, then the fifth string, third string, and the first string. Strumming five. B seventh. All right, so anyway, we'll uh, get right into this thing. We got a couple of little uh, little runs that I'll show you as well that are kind of cool. And it just starts out. It's just so you could do uh, and come back, or you could just do all down strokes. Okay, either way you want to do it. Uh, so it'll be two downs. Downs on the A and then uh, D back to the A, or you could do a down. Whichever, whichever way you like. Uh, I'm probably doing down strokes on on most of it. So, um, so <clears throat> starting out with now I'm lying here. We're starting out with the chorus. Just does the chorus twice, and there's two verses. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easy song here. Pretty simple. Pretty short. Okay. Now I'm lying. So then that I'm just alternating the fifth and fourth. Okay, on the eighth. When it changes the A7, I, I have a little bit of a, uh, I, I've had a little trouble going, I'm, I'm changing, sometimes I, I change it, I go to the A7 at a different time, let me, let me say it that way, because uh, it's now I'm lying here with, I'm here with on my, yeah, a while ago I didn't do it when it goes to mine, I was changing in the middle of my, uh, but you could do it now, I'm lying here. Uh, and then same way with crying. Lord, excuse me. To see her cry. You can change it on crying or you can change it in the middle of crying. Cry. It almost sounds like it's changing on the cry. There, okay. So, I just want to make that clear. Um, now, I think I'm pretty sure it's changing not on the, the first syllable of that song, but kind of as we're holding that out, crying. And same way with Linda on my mind, and this kind of holding that. I mean, that's one syllable, one syllable word anyway. But uh, uh, in country music, 
one syllable words become three or four syllables sometimes. So <laughs> that's just the way we do it. But anyway, so holding that out, uh, uh, changing it on the second part of that really, instead of right on the beginning of that word. Okay. She knows I'm lying here beside her. Just alternating, like I say, uh, when I'm in the E, I'm alternating six and five, down up five, down up six, down up five, A, five, down up four, down up, and, and the D, four, down up three, down up. And I, I don't always stick to that, but I, I mean, I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing, but I don't always, sometimes I get to free form and then doing my whole thing. All right, so uh, uh, here's the uh, verse, uh, and... Um, Two parts here, uh, and then we'll go into the next chord, the second chorus, or last chorus. Yes, I know that I once loved her, and I placed the one above her, and I never thought I'd ever set her free. It goes back to the deep, but it just wasn't in my plan. The way Linda. To change it. Squeeze my hand. The first time, because it goes to a B7 there. The first time that I held her close as she danced with me. And we should go to the E and stop. She danced with me. Alright, so I've got a little run there. I'm going to come up here and show you that on the sixth string open. So down up, open, and then uh, second and fourth. Doing it twice on that second. So open. And then, and then just the open eight. Okay, so we're coming off of that. Um, as she danced with me, she said, I've loved you. Okay, so we're going into that A there. <clears throat> All right, so this is the uh, so second verse here. Um, and uh, they may have combined it, maybe more than one verse, but it's all, I'm just calling it two verses because that was kind of, uh, seemed like all together, that part we just did, and then the same way with this part. So, but it's a different progression. Okay, it is different. So, she said, I've loved you for a long time, but you married to a friend of mine. I went to the A7th there, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm not sure if it goes to the A7th in that part or not. <laughs> I don't think I did. I did a cover on it, and I don't think I changed I don't think I went to A7. But, uh, so, um, man, I'd have to listen to that again. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> so, one of them things that you don't have to, you, you could stay in the A. It's not uh, uh, the uh, music police are probably not going to come to your door and say, hey, you played that wrong. But anyway, um, if they do, just, you know, send them to me. I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll pay you bail and get you out of jail and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, so she said, she said, I loved you for a long time, but you're married to, so whatever you want to do on the married, but you're married to a friend of mine. Kind of sounds like it goes there, but you could, you could stay in the A too. But you're married to a friend of mine, and I have tried hard to never. Back to the deep, but my love for you is stronger, and I can't hide it any, can't hide it any longer. I'll show you another run there, because I do it on the cover. And I can't hide it any longer. So I'm just doing the, it's kind of a similar run, only I'm doing it on the fifth string. I can't hide it any longer, hide it any, and it's just second and fourth. Uh, the, on each syllable, any longer to the D, okay? Uh, you can you can leave it, uh, play it, throw it out, whatever you want to. Cool thing is, uh, both of those runs, the, from the E to the A and to the A to the D, 
You can use them. Oh. You can take those with you and use them anytime you want to. But my love for you is stronger. And I can't hide it any longer. And so I thought I'd better let you know. Another little run there. Okay, so we, hey, I'll know it goes to the D. Okay. And then we're going to come up. It's kind of a backwards run. And so we're still on the fifth. We're on the fifth string, only we're doing it backwards because we're instead of going from the D where we walk down this way from second to fourth to D, we're going uh, open, open fourth string. Okay, we're going to open fourth, and then we're just we're coming backwards from fourth to the second. Now I'm lying with Linda. Okay, and then it goes through. It goes through that course again. I, there's no. I don't need to really go through it again, um, uh, because it's it's the same exact thing as we did. And then it, and then at the end of it, it's uh. So now I'm lying here beside her with Linda on my mind. So it does that same thing we did at the beginning that. I did, I come up that time, so that might be the best way to do it as opposed to, it's a little bit, you're having to do kind of a quick motion if you do all downstrokes, whereas if you go, it's a little more, flows a little bit better, so, but like I say, whichever way you want to do it. Anyway, Lend All My Mind, hope you enjoyed that lesson, hope that was helpful to you, and you learned a few little runs there and everything too. Uh, fun little song, great, just to, uh, Conway just had great stuff out. But anyway, hey, listen, be sure and give us a thumbs up on this one. Subscribe to us if you would. Uh, check out our other videos out there. There's a whole bunch of them out there. There's a few hundred now. And uh, be sure and check out our description down below. We Our sponsor, which is Noun Hound, which is our game, our family created. Uh, you can buy some of those if you'd like to. Uh, links to products that we use. Uh, links to t-shirts and stuff to say fret more on them. Uh, fret more, stress less, make music, all that stuff. Check all that stuff out. Hey, listen, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.